Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another episode of 007 Agent Under Fire. Last time we, um, had some difficulties in, uh, these two stages. <laughs> Dear God. And then bad diplomacy is easy. This time we're gonna be taking on the streets of Bucharest. Or Bucharest. How the fuck? Eng people who live there tell me how I pronounce it, and then I'll know. <laughs> Alright. So anyway, we rescued the lady, but we need to find this data chip, which this chip is exceedingly vital to the plot so that we can find, a. Uh, Poseidon, the under underground base. Uh oh, that's pre-rendered. No my gusta. Oh, I'm shooting the rockets. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, first you have to get the Q locator though. All right. So this level, there's no stupid Q pulse you need to worry about. So fucking, fucking just yeet. There you go. Oh, I could have gotten oil slicks, but who gives a shit? <laughs> I'm still getting shot at, like a... Fuck. Fuck. Stop fucking shooting at me! These freaking guys are resilient. Oh, I have unlimited missiles. Well, you know what weapon I'm gonna be using for the most part? Oh, I remember what's at the end of this level. I hate it so much. I mean... Get out of my way! Fuck. Pew! Pew! Go! Wow, I am just... X. Usually when I'm dying from explosions, it's from other causes, but, uh, no, this is all me. I'm the explosion central over here. Don't worry, I see a helicopter. Don't worry, it's fine, I see helicopters. Kapew! <laughs> Kabu! Kablu! No! You is not allowed to have chip. I'm sorry about the fact that there's missiles everywhere. Okay, there is a helicopter on my ass. I'm about to die because there's helicopters everywhere. Let's go through this alley. I I thought about the alley because I saw the yellow stuff, so who knows. No, I have unlimited missiles. I plan to use them. Oh, I thought I was actually singing in tune with the song, but uh, no, I'm not. Chip. It's imperative you get that device to me for decoding as soon as possible, double F7. Um, what the fuck? Oh, wait, never mind. That's later. Oh, cool, I didn't kill myself trying to make that jump. Q booster. Here we go. See that? You gotta be careful about this. If you don't get the exact timing of the Q booster, you're fucked. You're just, you're dead. It kills you instantly. That jump will kill you. And you have to play all of that again. So this is pre-rendered, so fuck it. So you know what? The best course of action to bond, you know, He's like, and eh, I crashed in this building, so how am I gonna get to the to get get give Q the chip? Obviously, go in a friggin' tank. Duh. So technically, this is the next on rails section, but uh, you know, 
technically also it isn't, because you don't have your own weapons. It's you, You're in a tank. You literally just steal a tank and nobody gives a shit. How do you switch weapons in this mode? Oh, okay. You can't even fire without locking on to somebody. Or never mind, you can. There you go. Give me some armor for my... Excuse me? Okay. There you go. Uh, honestly, at this point, shooting down a helicopter does not seem very exciting. Screw off. Thanks for the armor. So anyway, you see this helicopter and you're like, oh shit. You literally just fire away at it. <laughs> Alright. We're off to next tank. Clearly I am not in control of you. Clearly they're gonna fight these vans. Was that an explosive filled truck? I don't know. When did they give you the goggles? Because that part of the level is just boring. Oh. Now we're getting fancy with two helicopters. Yeah, they just let a tank stroll through a casino, by the way. Ow, this is actually hurting my eyes. This is hurting my eyes to some degree. How are you supposed to see that helicopter? Yeah, that's not fair. How they don't even let you see that helicopter before it's too late. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna get dead before fucking... No, if they spawn another helicopter, I'm done for. Yeah, there's pretty much no reason to use the shells because. Well, you know what? If you wanted to save battery, you would turn the thing off, but you're not allowed. The game's just like, nah, nah, nah. Ugh! I destroyed that tank so hard. Uh oh. So anyway, they also have tanks! So anyway, there's the supply train you're looking for. Which... That's why you need the... That's the only time you need the shells, because, uh... You shoot that explosive train, and then you destroy the tanks. There you go. So anyway, you give the chip to, uh... You give the chip to QR. QR. And then, uh... It's over. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Fire and water. I don't like this level. I really, really, really don't like this level. I hate this level with a boiling pa with a burning passion. Boiling and burning passion. 
Okay, so you see Mr. Block there. Oh wow, this cutscene isn't even pre-rendered. Alright. Wow, I don't even know how the FPS levels play anymore. <laughs> Alright, so. Basically, you're on this oil rig. And, uh, can I just tell you, this is the dumbest oil rig in existence. Like, whoever built this thing should be ashamed of themselves. Could be you. There you go. Is that a grappling hook spot? I, I... Yeah. Even down to this area, which can kill you if you're not careful. Oh yeah, and that's a straight death trap. Don't worry, they give you a plentiful amount of, um, ammo. So anyway, you go into this room. So anyway, while these people are shooting at you... Well, actually, while he's shooting at you... Actually, you can just literally walk forward. Yeah, go grab this body armor. Because this section is blimmin' impossible. Basically, you want to laser this door... But don't actually go towards the door, because enemies just appear. And if you're not careful, you'll just kill yourself. So... So yet again, they just make uh, James Bond too, uh, too action filmy. You know, it's like... Look, the freaking t <laughs> Oh, you were actually supposed to remote this. Cool, I got grenades. Nice. Uh, let's go hit up those other uh, crayons, just so, just for later. Just so I can get the bond moves for it. And you know, you love how the doors open both ways just to trigger you. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm about to run out of ammo in this. Uh, okay. Well, I'd rather go down the vents as opposed to anything else, so... I'm pretty sure what's-his-face is gonna be right there. Or not. Go away! Oh, it's... Shut up. But anyway, here's the stupid crane jumps. I'm not even gonna bother with those. I mean, you can just, you can fall down. And waste your time. That's it. Can y'all shut up? Just, just. 
Ugh. Yeah, that's why I hate these cranes. Just, on, just fuck it. I went in for the extra ammo is what I went and did. This level takes forever. Like, not even the next level takes this long. Oh, thanks. That's real fair. Alright, so number one, I'm gonna ensure myself that I can kill helicopters in one hit. If they would stop shooting at me. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Um, what? Excuse me, did my hands just disappear? What the? Okay. Okay, I guess I was doing something wrong then. This is obviously the extremely suicidal way of doing things. But fuck it. <laughs> How much time did I waste just doing that? Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're in the pump room now. And yes, more emphasis on pump. Okay. Alright. So yeah, here you go. This is the Q-Jet. Just when you thought this game wasn't already silly enough. We now have gosh dang jetpack. We now have jetpacks in this level. <laughs> this level introduces you to a jetpack. I love how we'll just, once one person fires one bullet, that's it. Hundreds start coming our way. Oh, Jesus. Oh shit. The only way out is through that gap. Yes, it is. But I am about to die. All right. Let's throw a grenade. Wait, what? Okay. Fuck. 
Fuck it. I don't know why this is happening to me now in this playthrough that I'm all of a sudden just getting riddled with bullets constantly, but fuck it. I don't know who's that numbnut who keeps throwing grenades. Okay, here we go. There you go. Oh, by the way, if you fall in those, it's instant death. There's no explanation. There's... There's pretty much no explanation why the game just insta- It just insta-kills you for no- Okay. Are there- Finally, no enemies in this gosh dang room. Thank you. But anyway, alas, we can now finally go up this thing. Grab that ammo for this gun and try to jump on this thing. You don't know how much time, effort, and energy it took me as a kid to figure out how to get up there. So every time I beat that, I got so satisfied when I was a kid. Because I was like, I just, I, I did this jump. It, it's a jump. It, this stupid jump just doesn't make any sense. There you go. So of course it just makes sense for the level to just keep on going. Like... Oh, okay, I'm getting sniped, obviously. Oh, Oh, that's the lame way to get there. Okay. Cool. Press action to engage cable hook. You know, I legit just stood there and did absolutely nothing and they couldn't do anything about it. Okay. Ingenious. Absolutely ingenious. No! I don't want this light around. Or not. Stop moving, please. Stop moving. Is it over? Oh. You bitcheronies. Take it. Wait, what? What, huh? Excuse me? Coming. 
I had to abandon ship. Can you, I don't know, just heal me, please? Okay, there. Oh, thank you. It's over. The level just ends. You open that door, and the level just finally stops. She's like, ha. And you're like, what? And you're like, what? And you're like, and he's like, fuck you. <laughs> This is how real men fight, by just wildly flailing their limbs at one another. And it just randomly plays the Bond jingle for no reason. There you go. I don't even get a medal for that, just because that level is so asinine. Yeah, there you go. So this is the last on rails level, and then from that point on, the whole game is just shooter stages, because I guess they were running out of time. So you know, whatever. Uh, lag filled, so nobody gives a shit. This song, though. Dear Jesus, is this song friggin' awesome? They just vaporize instantly. Okay, makes sense. Oh yeah, don't I have a golden rocket launcher? Or not. What good are henchmen that can't aim? I don't know. Oh yeah, isn't it? That's the most annoying part of this level though. This level's pretty cool, I'll admit that, but... My one gripe is that Nigel Block shows up, and you can't kill him. Because, you know, he can't die up until a certain point in this level, where he actually does die. But... Okay, well, good thing there's this stupid freaking person behind me. Okay, that's him. Unless you constantly shoot him. Unless you constantly shoot him, he'll drop mines on your ass. And they will kill you. <laughs> Stop. Okay, there we go. It kept shifting my auto aim. I got shotgun. Oh, that's weird. I don't even get a rocket launcher, but I just get the shotgun. Okay. Yeah, they didn't even bother giving it a stupid, like, fake gun name. They were just like, just call it a shotgun. And they're like, okay. <laughs> okay, enough. So here's the dramatic music for... A hallway.
See, I would have expected you to have more men, but I guess not. <laughs> there you go. Oh shit, auto turret. Oh, you have a rocket launcher. I think that was the way I was able to pick up the rocket launcher, but I guess not. Meaning they straight use your weapons. Get there. Yeah, the next uh, episode may or may not be as long just because, you know. A lot of these levels test my patience, yeah. Look at this motherfucker, he'll shoot you. And then he'll run away. Fucking through mine! So you may as well just not even shoot at him and just try to shoot the mines. Because even if you are shooting him, he'll still throw the mine. Aha, I decided to aim. There you go. Danger! There you go. So now, all of a sudden, you see this thing and you're like, oh, okay. And then you see, what's his face? Nigel, run over there. And there's just enemies on all sides. You know, they're all just trying to gun you down. I, if only I could see you. So anyway, you shoot him a few times, then he uh, turns on this thingy. And then he says that. And then you have to kill these dudes with rocket launchers. Which then they give you this remote controlled rocket launcher. This is where we say goodbye, Mr. Oh. Okay. Oh! My phone is ringing. From San Francisco. I don't know anybody from San Francisco, so I don't care. Anyway, if you don't uh, do this fast enough, you just die. Because it gets so hot in the area that uh, eventually you're, you're just, you, you, you burn to death. Oh, come on! There you go, it's over. And then that's pre-rendered, but I'm gonna show it. He falls down, and then... Plunk, he goes into the lava. And he's dead. End of the level. <laughs> there you go. What?! I could've actually done better if I would've gotten the time bonus. Alright, music. Okay, there we go, the music caught up. So, next time on 007 Age Under Fire, we're gonna beat the game. <laughs> yeah, there's only gonna be four episodes. This game is not very long. So, anyway, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.